I'm going to show you how to hang a shelf on a plasterboard wall. First and foremost, make sure the wall is made of plasterboard. It is, so here's what we need to do the job. A shelf, wood screws, brackets, plasterboard anchors, power drill, and steel or wood drill bit, multi-purpose detector, and a spurt level. First thing we do is find a position for the shelf on the wall. Once we're happy with the position, mark the position on the wall, and then we will use a stud detector to find a stud inside the wall. This is very important. You need to have a firm fixing for your bracket to ensure that your shelf does not come loose or fall down off the wall. Now that we've found our stud, we'll carry on, we'll fit the bracket to the wall. Using a five by 60 wood screw, we fix the first bracket to the wall. Using a spurt level, we level from the top of the first bracket to the top of the second bracket. Now we're going to fit the second bracket to the wall. If you're lucky, the second bracket will hit a stud. But in most cases, it's a plasterboard and you'll have to use a plasterboard fixing. Here's some plasterboard fixings and what they do. Here's a selection of fixings and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them. This is a nylon drywall fixing. It's suitable for lightweight, round the house fixings. The way to use this fixing is to use the drill bit size indicated on the packet and drill the wall. Place your plug into the hole. Then put a screw in and as the screw tightens, it compacts the plug, which in turn stops the plug from sliding out of the wall. This is an ideal fixing for any lightweight things that you may have to fix to the wall around your house, such as a picture or a toilet roll holder. Here we have another plasterboard fixing. This plasterboard fixing is specifically for plasterboard. Again, use the drill bit size indicated on the packet to drill the hole. You slide your wall plug into it. And as you tighten the screw, the arrowhead expands and clamps to the back of the sheet. This is an ideal fixing for any light to medium weight objects you may want to fit to any stud walls throughout the house. This is an intercept fixing and it comes usually with a clamping gun. It can be used on its own, but the clamping gun makes it very easy for plasterboard walls. Use the drill bit size as indicated on the packet to drill your hole. Place your anchor into the hole. The clamp quickly locks the fixing in place, then tighten the screw. This fixing will create a good firm anchor to any plasterboard wall. Here we have a spring anchor fixing. In order to use this fixing, use the drill bit sides indicated on the packet, then drill the hole. The fixing slides through the hole, and when it gets through to the other side, it springs. And as we tighten the screw, this plate tightens to the back of the sheet. This fixing is suitable to all plasterboard walls and provides a great anchor to any heavy object. Here we have another screw in plasterboard fixing. This fixing comes with its own screw. Very simple to use. You remove the screw. On top of the fixing you see a screw head. You place it to the plasterboard and you screw in. You can do it with either a hand screwdriver or a cordless screwdriver. The worm on this worms its way around and creates a good hold for pictures or lightweight objects throughout the house. Today I'm going to use a 6mm plasterboard fixing and all we need for the job is a 6mm drill bit and power drill. So by putting a 6mm drill bit into the chuck, putting it in forward, pressing the trigger gently, this will tighten the bit and we're ready to drill. Before drilling, always wear your safety glasses. Having checked for pipes and cables which are multi-purpose detector, you're ready to drill. Remember, not to use hammer action on your drill, as you don't want to tear the paper backing on the plasterboard inside the wall. Next, we put in our wall plug, and we tap in place with the hammer, and we're ready to offer up the bracket. We firmly secure the bracket to the wall using a wood screw. So before you put in your second screw in both brackets, ensure that the tops are level, and they're running level up and down the wall as well. So once you're happy everything is level and in line, mark, drill and fix your second fixings. By moving the second bracket to one side, you can easily drill the second hole. Once we have the second bracket in place, 
We'll just do one final check with our level to make sure nothing has moved. Now we're ready to put the shelf into place. Using a 16mm screw, we firmly secure the shelves to the brackets. There you go. There's your shelf fitted to a plasterboard wall. It's as easy as that. For more helpful tips and hints, go to woodiesdiy.com.